team. Today, we're going to talk about a really big deal for businesses to compete, to have better organic growth, to really maximize the dollars within their business for growth. And what we're going to talk about is SEO. So I want to start off by saying this. Have you ever wondered how some websites just seem to always appear at the top of the search results? Right? No matter what you type in or what kind of brand or product, you can't get your business up there. Well, it's not a magic formula. It's really just about SEO or search engine optimization. Okay, so today that's what we're going to focus on. It won't be a long video. And I also have something at the very end of the video I think is going to be particularly interesting. But first, let's start off by saying this, right? SEO is not just some fancy thing for big businesses. It's not just something that you have to learn to be technical to work with. There's a lot of different ways to think about it. There's a lot of different ways to get help. At the end of the day, SEO is all about making your website more visible to people who are using search engines like Google, like Bing, et cetera. But I suppose the big question is, you know, how does it work? Well, there's three things really that we want to focus on, okay? Keywords, content, and backlinks. So first, let's talk about keywords. These are the words and phrases that people type into search engines, right? I need a plumber. I want to find some good food, yada, yada, yada. You really want to make sure you're including relevant keywords in your content so search engines can actually go out and find you and your business. That's a big part of this team. <clears throat> now, secondly, is this idea of content. Your content needs to be valuable and very relevant to what those people are searching for in and around your business offerings or services. So the more things you can do around writing articles, creating videos, similar to this, and posting images that provide actual value to your audience, the better and further you're going to go with that effort. And then the third piece of this is backlinks. I think this is a confusing one for a lot of folks, but backlinks are essentially links from other websites to your site. And the higher the quality the backlinks are, the more authority your site ultimately will have in the eyes of those search engines. And this is a key takeaway, folks. It's not about how you think of your website or how your users even think about your website. It's what is the actual search engine looking for, what is important to how it displays results, and how do you make sure yours is at the top. So one thing to keep in mind is SEO takes time, uh, but it's worth it, right? You need to start to think about how to optimize your site today around those three components, and you're going to start to see the difference. Now, if you're thinking to yourself like, yeah, this seems like a lot of work. I wonder if it's really valuable or not. I, I totally get that, right? There's a lot of considerations for sure. And I think that when I personally think about why this is so important as a small business, it really comes down to four key benefits that I want to call out here that are sort of like top of mind when I think about this, number one, it's increased visibility, right? Higher search rankings means more people are gonna see and have the potential to click on your site to buy your service or product. It's extremely cost-effective, okay? Unlike paid advertising, organic traffic from search engine optimization doesn't have an ongoing cost to it. You might get some help to set it up, to get it right, to make sure that the search engine's you know, aware of you in the first place, but once it's all done, it's really organic. It's very easy. The other big piece of this that folks don't always think about, but makes a lot of sense when you say it, is this idea of credibility and trust, right? The high-ranking sites that we see show up all the time are perceived as more, more credible or perceived as more trustworthy. You know, when you think about it, how often do you really scroll to the very bottom? How often are you clicking on page two, three, four? We all know you're not, right? So the question that I always come back to is, how do I make sure that we're at least towards the top or as close to the top as possible? And the final piece really is the competitive advantage here. Really strong and effective SEO can help a small business compete with any business of any size because it can be hyper-localized to exactly what people are looking for within that particular community and the specific needs that might pop up in that community of buyers or even from a region or localization perspective. Now, what I want to do is say this. Uh, I've worked a lot of different SEO companies. I have a lot of friends who do this. And we sort of were talking about this earlier that when I talk about things that are technical, like SEO, for example, folks are like, I would love to do this. I don't have a ton of money. I don't know how to even get started. And I'm not sure what to do next. Uh, if you're interested in talking to a team, like zero obligation, they'll review your website at no charge, uh, drop, it, drop it below and just say, you know, interested in a free review or something to that essentially, right? A free review. And uh, we'll find a way to reach out to each other and we can talk through this. So team, that's it. I want to really just hammer this home. If you are struggling as a small business owner and a lot of, of folks are struggling, this is an easy way 
to have a cost efficient way of being more visible, more competitive, and more trustworthy to those potential buyers. So with that, thanks so much for watching. I hope this was really simple. And it's been a while since I've seen you. Hope everything is okay out there. So team with that, uh, I'm going to say thank you very much and have a good one.